Hello, guys. Welcome back to Amalabi Channel, where you can learn more interesting information about your favorite actors and athletes. In today's video, let's take a look at the career of Larry Holmes, one of the most accomplished boxers in heavyweight history. American former professional boxer Larry Holmes was born on November 3, 1949, in Capra, Georgia, and grew up in Easton, Pennsylvania. Nicknamed the Easton Assassin throughout his career from 1973 to 2002, Holmes' exceptional ability and talent in boxing shown in his numerous wins. He's frequently ranked as one of the greatest heavyweights of all time and has been inducted into both the International Boxing Hall of Fame and World Boxing Hall of Fame. Holmes was the fourth of 12 children born to John and Flossie Holmes. To support his family, Holmes dropped out of school when he was in the seventh grade and went to work at a car wash for one dollar an hour. He later drove a dump truck and worked in a quarry. Larry's younger brother, middleweight contender Mark Holmes, fought between 1980 and 1987 and had a record of 38 wins and won a fit with 17 knockouts but never received the opportunity to fight for a world title. Larry Holmes married Diane Robertson since 1979. The couple raised five children together, in which three daughters are from Larry's two previous relationships. When Holmes was 19, he started boxing. He honed his skills and became a very Brahmin amateur boxer, winning 90 of his 22 fights. Holmes turned professional on March 21, 1973. He won his first 48 professional bouts, including victories over Ken Norton, Ali, Ernie Shavers, Mike Weaver, Gary Cooney, Tim Witherspoon, Carl Williams, and Marvis Frazier. He fell on short of matching Rocky Marciano's career record of 49-0 when he lost to Michael Spinks in an upset in 1985. Holmes retired after losing a rematch to Spinks the following year, but made repeated comebacks. He was unsuccessful in four further attempts against Mike Tyson in 1988, Evander Holyfield in 1992, Oliver McCall in 1995, and Brian Nielsen in 1997 to regain the heavyweight title. Holmes fought for the final time in 2002, age 52, against the 334 pounds Eric Butterbin Esch, and ended his career with a record of 69 wins and 6 losses. All of these in title fights. Holmes, whose left jab is rated among the best in boxing history, held the WBC heavyweight title from 1978 to 1983, the Ring Magazine and Lionel heavyweight titles from 1980 to 1985, and the inaugural IBF heavyweight title from 1983 to 1985. During his only title reign, he defended his title against 19 opponents, the second most in history behind Joe Lewis, and the most since the international expansion of boxing governing bodies. He frequently ranks as one of the greatest heavyweights of all time and has been inducted into both the International Boxing Hall of Fame and World Boxing Hall of Fame. As of 2021, Larry Holmes' net worth is estimated at $20 million. He has amassed most of his wealth through his numerous fights, including high-profile title defense fights against boxing greats. Holmes invested the money he earned for boxing and settled in his hometown of Easton. When he retired from boxing, Holmes employed more than 200 people through his various business holdings. In 2008, he owned two restaurants and a nightclub, a training facility, an office complex, a snack food bar, and slot machines. Holmes currently co-hosts a talk show entitled, What the Heck Were They Thinking? In 2016, Holmes guest star as himself in an episode of Mike Tyson Mysteries titled, Unsolved Situations. Holmes is the only boxer to have knocked down Muhammad Ali and the only man still alive to have beaten Ali. 
So how do you think about him? Leave a comment and let us know. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to support our channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the upcoming videos on the Malby channel.